I'm going to show you how to paint the background for one of my octopus pieces. Since you wanted to see it, I figured I'd do it for you. And then, yeah, no, not particularly in a talkative mood, honestly. I've been painting for a little bit today, and then I realized that this was my last canvas. And I'm like, fuck, I gotta sell something. Because I don't think I've ever had my very last canvas happen, actually, ever in my life. Alright, so you pick three colors. One, two, three. I picked turquoise and purple and white. Those are the colors I picked. Almost out of paint, too. Um, yeah. So I put turquoise across it and... I'm going to put white. Yes, sound effects are crucial. In case you were curious, I do miss my music. How come every time I do this, Spotify turns off? Alright, big brush. Get a big brush. Huge. Two inches. This is perfect. This is like your watercolor brush when you want to get the whole thing wet. And then you can do two things. You can do strokes like this in this direction, Troosh, like this, you want it to be spirally shaped, or how I feel like doing it today, is you go up and down. Awesome. Up and down. And then you cover the whole thing. So, I really got to figure out this whole tripod thing. It's harder to see this than it is to do, and I will figure it out, but I'm not there yet. So I'm using my chair, I painted in that last video, because I did actually finish it. And just making a nice boot. So everybody keeps telling me I should watch Bob Ross and his, his tree painting. I did get gifted a whole bunch of oil painting, of oil paint. And if Bob Ross paints with oils, it seems like a YouTube channel might be a much cheaper experience than an oil painting instructor, especially since I can't get any of them to call me back. I feel like that's what I'm running into right now, it is people I want to learn from don't want to call me back, but people who want to hang out are definitely calling me back. Well, that's good. Affection is a benefit in life. Yeah. Okay. Large strokes. And everybody has their own paint stroke. Like, literally. There's there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to paint in your own form. But I find these long strokes are great. When I'm real bored and I don't know what to paint, I paint houses. You get paid, like, you get paid, like, 15 bucks an hour to paint houses. And that's just a little bit under what I get paid to do nanny work. But I sure wish somebody would pay me 15 bucks an hour to actually paint like this. It'd be awesome. Hmm. I mean, and sometimes I get paid to do this stuff, but I am looking forward to the day when I get paid to do this stuff much more frequently. You like getting paid for teaching, right? I think it's such a strange thing. We want to have people that are artists and who obviously put in such like work. I mean, I'm definitely one of those people who does so much work as an artist. And then to have it be so hard to make money, you know? My mom keeps saying things like, oh, don't worry, honey. Like, when you die, you'll make money. And I'm like, I want to eat, dude. Like, I want to eat now. Ha! <laughs> so, but at the same time, she's kind of cute when she says stuff like that. But, yeah. So you need a light color and a dark color, and those are the most important, but I am a three color person. So see how this looks right now, currently? All those long strokes? Now I'm going to flip it, and we'll bring it to the other side. Alright. Now, you can keep going with just two colors of turquoise and white if you want to, 
but I always want to do other colors. I always do. So I'm going to add some more white and just count the turquoise that I have currently as my turquoise. I'm almost out of purple. Ah, oh, my favorite color. I hate being almost out of my favorite colors. Um, yeah. Oh, we'll have inches of purple left for some project that requires only enough for a little bit of hair, which is fine. I have all the orange. I have this horrible orange that I'm working through, and I realized about halfway through, I was like, I could have sent it back to the factory. I could have, because it's an awful orange. Do not, if I don't, Vermilion Grumbucker. No. Say no to this orange. It doesn't have any consistency. It's almost completely transparent, and it's a weird color. And see how the see how that's going into there nicely? It will blend real well by the end. So you keep doing that. And any color works for this, actually. You could be doing orange and black and purple. Um, any color. Like, those are extreme colors. But, so, I just pick a nice C color of any variety. And I don't have, I feel like there should be a reason like a consistency or something to it that be, is like, oh, this is why this stuff, the background turns out all cool. But for me, it's just because I paint it until it's cool. <laughs> like, that's what I do. I don't have a formula or a, I guess I'll learn, especially if I'm showing you how I do it. Um, it's kind of nice to have somebody specific to be making a video for, even though this is a less clear video. Instead of just talking to myself. Yeah. Makes me feel more connected. Oh, look at that periwinkle. Periwinkle? See the yummy periwinkle? Mm. And I tend to let my backgrounds, my backgrounds are that place where I get all of my feelings out and I just let my paintings happen. Um, and then this is like all the places where I have feelings. And then the other places are where I have different feelings, right? This is like, oh, I was feeling sad today. So I picked a lot of dark blue or I feel pretty perky and like on top of my world. So I picked a lot of purple, you know. Periwinkle is actually kind of a depression. Like this color, I just can't see it. But okay. it's kind of a, like an underlying depression to everything. I didn't know that until I mentioned it just now, so it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, that is covered. All right, so that's covered. Here's what it looks like. Oh, crashing, crashing boom. See? But now what we're gonna do is dump it over. Just let it do its thing. Turn it back. Okay. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the purple, because that's the color I like, and swipe it all the way across the canvas. This makes it even. And there's going to be patches in the middle with little bits of white canvas sticking underneath. Take the side of your brush. You see? Side. Do it like this versus doing it like this, flat ways, right? Flat strokes versus this. Dai could do this too, by the way. You could do this for a while. You take gorgeous pictures. You can paint. Can you even see what I'm doing? No, you can't do what I'm doing at all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm going to move you back a little. Okay, can you see better? Alright. This. This is what you're doing now making pretties, blending the colors together, reminding them that they are friends. These colors are friends. And this is going to be a much smoother piece than like, oh, running away, you still, stay there, uh, than like this other piece I did, I'll show you. Okay. Of course it ran all the way away. See? There you go. That's what that one looks like. And I won't know until it dries if I'm going to paint on it this way or I'm going to paint on it this way. But it's kind of pretty like that, right? Like it's super comforting. I like that about them. Okay, I'm going to put this away. Alright, so 
so slightly different, but same exact method is this one right here. Can you see it all? Go. Yep. See? Different painting. Same method. I did that one first. All right. Now go wash out your brushes. Because that's what you need to do. And put away your paint supplies. Because that shit's gonna die. Maybe eat some food. Dude, I'm kind of hungry. Why aren't you here cooking? Because food sounds amazing. Oh my god. And you can cook. Alright. See you later.